What's up y'all? Welcome back with another Wealth Hack Wednesday. A sunny edition, I had to wear sunglasses. So today we're gonna to just talk about not getting caught up in the little things, the small things. You know, I talked about doing the small things in the last Wealth Hack Wednesday or a previous one. Uh, today I'm talking about not getting caught up in all the small things. So what's the difference here? So um, at the time of this recording, you know, Robinhood, which is a very popular investment app, uh, announced they had a new checking uh, and savings account paying 3%. And then there was a lot of backlash uh, with that because, you know, it wasn't FDIC insured. Uh, it was only SIPC insured, which is a totally different thing. And now I think they've changed it from their checking savings to cash management or something like that. And I had a lot of people contact me like, man, what do you think about this 3%? What do you think about this 3%? And the, the grand scheme of things, that's right. Like you can go to most any online bank and make 2%. In fact, uh, Graham, uh, Graham Stephan did a video here recently talking about different savings accounts. You know, he outlined a lot of the top banks now are paying 2%. He found a few others that are paying more. But here's the thing, right? 2%, 3%, 2.15%, all these different numbers really don't mean a thing. You know, like all these people are focused on the small things because question of the day, how much are you putting in your investment account? How much cash are you putting in this account? If you're opening up a Robinhood account, I'm gonna guess that you probably don't have more than $5,000 in cash, $10,000 in cash. If you do, great. But then let's go ahead and just annualize that out. You know, 3% on $10,000 as opposed to 2% on $10,000. We're not talking a huge astronomical number. So we're getting all focused and we're just, everybody's going crazy. Like, oh, I can get an extra quarter percent here. I can get an extra half percent here. Now, if we're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars, then I get it, it makes sense. But for most of the people that are freaking out about this, like it doesn't matter. The extra quarter percent, even that extra percent in the short term doesn't matter. Now in the long term, does that matter? Heck yeah, it matters. But we're just talking short term stuff here, right? We're talking about short term savings. We're talking about, we're not investing for the long haul. Like this is just money that we're sticking away for a rainy day or a business investment. Maybe it's a vacation, maybe it's a down payment on a house, either way don't waste your time trying to f make an extra quarter percent or half percent because you could make a lot more if you actually go out and start a business or you go out and uh, invest in a chorus or invest into uh, new equipment for your youtube channel whatever that is a book a podcast something buying lunch for a mentor like that's going to give you more an roi than trying to make a half percent on a cash savings account all right i don't know if this is a wealth hack wednesday more like a wealth hack rant but just want to give you my two cents so don't focus on the small things when it comes to trying to make an extra half percent on your cash because you could invest your money elsewhere and make a whole lot more all right y'all hope you enjoyed this wealth hack wednesday until next time peace